Hello everyone, today I am going to be filming a makeup video, which I know does not happen often these days, but today I'm doing one. I've basically, well I've basically done a couple of videos in the past where I got my entire family to buy my outfits, and then we kind of have to see who did the best job and stuff like that, and I thought it would be fun to do that with makeup. So yeah, I basically got my boyfriend, my mum, my dad, and my brother to each pick me some makeup products, and all together, if this is all gone to plan it should make a full face so they were each allocated different products to pick so this is what arrived they picked all of the products from beauty bay and i have absolutely no idea what is in this box because alex made the order and um, i obviously paid for it but he made the order so it's all a big surprise for me so yeah i'm very excited to see what they all picked so the first person had to pick the do you want or not? Okay, there we go. So, oh, ow. So the first person had to pick foundation, concealer, and powder. Unfortunately, I know who picked each thing. Kind of wish I'd kept it as a surprise, so I had to like guess. Um, but I feel like it'll be fun if you guys guess. So I'm basically gonna like reveal who picked each product kind of as we go through the video. I feel like it'll be hard though with makeup. Like how are you gonna know who picked? We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna start off with foundation. This is what I found. It's the MUA Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. Um, so whoever did, well, I know who did it, but I'm keeping it secret for you guys. Um, whoever did foundation clearly likes to shop on a budget because these, this is very affordable. Like this is a really affordable brand. They picked shade 130, which I mean, luckily I've got a bit of fake tan on, but I'm thinking that might be a bit too dark for me, even with tan. Are you ready? Prepare yourselves for some nice, satisfying sounds. Well, hopefully. It's literally on a little like plasticky spatula thing. I thought I'd broken it for a minute and it was like a squirty pump and it had all come undone. But no, no, that is the applicator. It's on a spatula. I actually quite like the spatula. Instead of having to like squirt it on my hand and getting it everywhere, it means that I've just done it just like that. So I'm losing my voice. Oh no! Right, let's blend this out. Oh dear. I think it's gonna be a little bit orange for me. You guys will have to let me know if you still actually like makeup videos. I have no idea if anyone's even gonna wanna watch this because um, I know I don't really do this kind of thing anymore, but you'll have to let me know. Also, if anyone does like makeup stuff, I'm gonna be doing a live makeup stream on Sunday, I think on Sunday so check out my twitch on Sunday and I should be live doing my makeup which is kind of terrifying because I normally edit out so much in my makeup videos but I can't it's literally going to be live and I'm also going to be testing Soph's new revolution products in that as well so if you want to see my first impressions live i'll leave a link in the description box for you guys if you want to go and watch the actual foundation is all right like it blended quite nicely it's very full coverage like very full coverage you only needed that tiny bit and i am all covered um the finish is okay it's not like my new favorite but yeah i feel like it's a pretty decent foundation so this person <laughs> like literally like leapt out of my hands. Like I can't make this stuff up. Well, there you go, some things never change. I may not do makeup videos that often anymore, but when I do, I still drop everything. <laughs> so this person also had the job of choosing my concealer. Um, They went for this one. It's the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. This one is in the shade Light, so I feel like that's probably a pretty good shade. <gasps> I have not had a concealer like this in years and years and years and years and years. I've not had one with a foamy applicator, like a little sponge on the top. This really excites me. Okay, so how do I get the actual stuff out? I'm guessing you twist. Bruh, where are you at? How long have I got to do it for before? <gasps> I think it's starting to come out. This is so cool. Can you see the white just gradually turning into a concealer shade? It looks quite dark for like an under eye concealer, but this one says it's the shade light. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit. Oh my goodness, that feels so nice. It's so soft and it glides on really nicely. Okay, well it definitely does what it says. It's definitely a very illuminating concealer. Like it's given my under eyes just a bit of a like glowy look, if that makes sense. So I really like this. Yay, good choice. 
mystery person who chose it. Mwahaha. <laughs> Okay, so this person also had the job of choosing my powder. This was their final product that they had to pick. I think this is it. I was kind of confused. I was looking through the box and I'm like, there ain't no powder in here. But I think this is it. This is by the brand Stila and it's the In The Buff Powder spray so you can see why i didn't think this was a powder at first it's not really in like a powder sized package but apparently it's a powder spray so it's just in a little bottle like this and it's got a little squirty thing on it it's genuinely powder in a squirty tube watch this and then it all just goes this is so weird. I have never tried and never even seen anything like this. So I'm excited to give it a go. I guess you literally just close your eyes and squirt. Like, oh, I feel nervous. It's a bit like with setting spray. I get nervous before I squirt it. Okay, three, two, one. I don't think, it, it's just in the air. It's, so I've got to go close. I think I've got to go quite close because that was just squirting in the air. I don't get it. But now it's just done it in like clumps of it. Jeez. I'm just blending it out with my powder brush a little bit. I mean, it's definitely mattified my skin, so it has powdered my face, but it was just a bit of a weird one. Like, why hello there, it is me, Editing Sophie. I think you can probably guess why I'm popping in to say hello. Um, Those patches on my face that the powder left, I swear I could not see those in real life. Like, I had no idea that was there until I'm editing this video. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to look at that for the rest of the video. It does get a little bit better when I add my bronzer and blush but yeah my base is just a bit of a mess in this whole video I mean my whole face is a mess like I, uh, I struggled a bit but I hope you still enjoy I, I don't really fully understand it felt like it was literally just squirting it into the air but I guess it was getting it on my face but then if you got really close it would just do it in like little bursts well there we go that um spiced things up a little bit made it a bit more interesting I wasn't expecting a powder spray and yeah those are the first three products that were chosen by person number one if you don't want to know yet and you want to like keep guessing along if you want to cover your ears i will say again at the end who picked everything but for those of you that do want to know these three products were chosen by alex i feel like he had the hardest job with shades and stuff so i think he did quite well so person number two chose my bronzer, my blusher and my highlighter. So I'm going to start off with bronzer. This is huge. Like this is honestly a giant bronzer. Um, it's by the brand Doll Beauty and it's their Gimme Sun bronzer. I think that's all it's called. It is actually huge. I mean, this packaging is beautiful. It's very pink, very cute. Even if I didn't know who picked this, I feel like I could probably guess and you're probably all guessing. It's so cute. Right, let's have a look. It's a little love heart. It's got a huge mirror in there as well. I'm going to swap to this mirror for the rest of the video because this is so much better. definitely a little bit darker and a little bit warmer than what I'm used to using but I think I've just about managed to kind of make it work I don't know so yeah this person also had to pick my blush and they've gone for another Doll Beauty product this is the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly blush um this one's in the shade Take Me to the Peach oh so again it's in the shape of a love heart but yeah it is definitely a very different kind of blush to what I'd go for it's a more sort of muted pinky peach color instead of that like bright pink definitely need to dab that out a little bit it's really pigmented i think this is such a pretty shade it looks a little bit more natural compared to what i'd normally go for um so yeah i do really like it and i don't really have anything like this in my collection um i'm now going to go on to highlighter i wonder if it's going to be another doll beauty product maybe <laughs> oh it's not so this is a revolution luster highlighter i think i've already got this rose shaped highlighter i do have this i literally have this one um it might be a different shade this one's in the shade golden rose so this is what the packaging looks like and then inside i already know what these look like they are beautiful <gasps> they're so pretty yeah this is definitely a different shade it's more of like a goldeny shade i 
Um, it's quite a natural highlighter though, like it took quite a bit to build it up. Um, but yeah, I really like it and it's just the cutest packaging again. This person just went for cute packaging, I swear. <laughs> so those are the three products that person number two picked. Person number two, it is... It's my mum. I feel like that was really easy. Like the cute packaging, it's all pink and pretty. I just feel like it was really obvious that it was my mum. I feel like she did really well. Like those are some decent products and yeah. So person number three chose my eyebrow product, my eyeshadow and my mascara. So let's start with eyebrows. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. This is the Sample Beauty Brow Archery Eyebrow Cream. Oh goodness, <laughs> why does that just sound like it's gonna be a mess? It's in the shade Truffle. So I feel like that could match, like that sounds like a brown shade. Um, oh my god. I hate it. I hate this. It's not a needle. It's not a needle. It's not a needle. It's not a needle. It's literally like a freaking syringe eyebrow product. What the frick? The absolute savage. Um, so yeah, I guess. How does this even work? So you basically squeeze it up slightly like a syringe. And then I think it's just going to push the product out of the top. I'm just going to keep squeezing. I hate this. Like I actually hate it. Wait, nothing's happening. It's stuck. Am I meant to pull the top off? Oh, that's the lid. Oh, geez. That, that, that's just the lid. I was expecting it to like come out of there. Well done. No, we're still stuck. We're still stuck. We're on the move again. We're on the move. Oh my goodness, here it is. So like a little bit of product you just poked out the top. How am I supposed to apply this? Okay, it's still coming out. So I guess I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on my eyebrow. Like, oh, I'm confused. And then I'm gonna take a brush and I guess you just kind of do this with it. This is really strange. I feel like I am gonna struggle to make these look good. I actually can't get any more out. I swear down, it's stuck. Oh no, oh no, a little bit. It just takes its time to get out of there, I tell ya. I mean, it's definitely added a bit of color to my eyebrows. I just feel like it would be impossible to get a nice shape with that. Um, so it works as like a little bit over your brows just to add a bit of a tint to them, but there is no way I could do like my shaping with that. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to quickly go and sort of finish off my eyebrows how I normally would. So this person also had the job of picking my eyeshadow and this is what I've got. This is the, I don't even know how to say that. I've never heard of this brand. Brand. Uoma. It's like U-O-M-A. So I'm going to say Uoma. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, this is their Black Magic colour palette. I really like the packaging. Let's have a look. What sort of colours am I going to be doing? Okay. I mean, they're quite bright. They're definitely very bright colours. Wow. They're, oh, they're all bright colours. There's not even any nudes. There's not any neutrals. Okay, I'm screwed. I've got to do a bright eye look. We've got a shimmery sort of dark pink, a matte bright pink, a shimmery blue, a matte lilac, a matte yellowy orange, a shimmery dark purple, a matte light green, a matte purple, and then a shimmery sort of silver. <sighs> What am I gonna do? <gasps> I know what I could do actually. I mean, the thing that's like standing out to me is the lilac because of my lilac nails. The first thing I thought is that kind of matches. Maybe I'll just do like a lilac all over look. Keep it nice and simple. Although I should probably try a shimmer. <gasps> oh, I could try the shimmer like in the corners or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a bit of that and I'm just gonna kind of put it all over, I think. <gasps> Sometimes with like pastel colors, they can be really naff, but that, is so pigmented and it just feels like the nicest formula. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, you're just doing one color. You can't mess this up. You literally can't. It's just one color. Watch me mess it up. The only thing I will say is it looks like a slightly different shade of purple. Like in this, it looks more of a pastel lilac, but on here it is a slightly different shade. I don't know if I'm imagining that, I feel like it looks a little bit different. So yeah, I've just done like a basic purple all over, but I wanna try one of the shimmers. So I think I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna kind of put that in the corners a bit, I think, a little bit in the corner there and just kind of swipe it out. So it kind of gradually spreads outwards. Same again on the other side. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't really know what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna add it into my inner corners as well. I know I probably haven't done the best job in case anyone is new here. I'm not very good at eyeshadow. I never normally do it. This must be the mascara. Um, so yeah, this person also had to pick me a mascara. Is this it? 
I feel like this must be it by process of elimination. Uh, uh, nude sticks yeah oh it says it on the back this is the nude sticks vegan splash proof mascara in the shade black it's in a tin let's get her out oh it's got stars on it let's have a look at the wand am i gonna love it am i gonna hate it we all know i'm quite fussy with my wand sizes i mean i think i like it no <laughs> I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna let all of that dry. Hopefully I can pick it off. Okay, that is my mascara done. I feel like it's a pretty decent one. I don't know if I like it as much as the one I normally use, but I did quite like it. I think it's a pretty decent mascara. So yeah, those are the three products that person number three chose. I'm now gonna reveal that it was. Da -da 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 -da. It was my brother and I feel like that was really obvious as well because he was being a savage getting me a freaking eyebrow product which was a syringe. <laughs> um, I feel like he did well though. He did really well at picking that eyeshadow palette. And then finally, person number four picked me a lip liner, a lipstick and a setting spray. I, I didn't, I was kind of running out at this point, but I was like, we'll just do a setting spray. I know that's kind of boring, but I needed a third item. Um, if any of you guys have been watching the whole video and listening to me reveal as we go along, you're going to know who this one is because there's only one person left. First of all, we've got a lip liner. Oh, it looks very pink. So this is the Milani Colour Statement Lip Liner in the shade Pretty Pink. <laughs> I never normally go for pink lips, so this is gonna be very different for me. Oh my goodness, I've got bright purple eyeshadow, pink lips. Okay, yeah, this is so different for me. It's actually like quite a bright pink. So then I also got this person to pick a lipstick. They kind of had it quite tricky because they had to obviously match the lip liner and the lipstick. But then I guess that's not really too hard, is it? If you've gone for pink, then you just get a pink lipstick to go with it. So it's, it's not that hard. Oh, wait. Yeah, this was Milani and this is also Milani. Um, So this is a Milani liquid lipstick oh a lip cream in the shade oh it's in the shade pretty and this one was in the shade pretty pink clever i mean yeah that makes sense they're gonna match if they're both got a similar name similar brand oh it's got that really nice like sweet smell that some lip creams have it smells so good okay It applied really nicely, but it has dried very matte, so it does look a little bit dry. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad, and it did go quite nicely with the lip liner, so that was a pretty good match. Um, and anyway, the last item that I asked this person to pick was a setting spray, so it's kind of boring. They all do the same thing, but let's see what they went for. Okay, I found it. So they've gone for the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. So yeah, let's give it a go. Oh my God. I hate setting spray, it scares me. Okay, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Mmm. Okay, it's got a nice fine mist on it. Smells all right, kind of just smells like a typical setting spray. And there we go. That is my makeup done. And obviously the person that picked those final three products was da, 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 da. it was my dad obviously he's the last one and again i feel like i would have guessed that if i didn't know because i just feel like my dad would have picked pink lip products he wouldn't have known that i don't go for that he probably would have thought oh she probably goes for pink because it's her favorite color who do you think did the best job i feel like it's kind of hard to judge because obviously everyone had different things to pick but um yeah who do you think did the best we had alex with the foundation concealer and powder we had my mom with the bronzer blusher and highlighter we had my brother with the eyebrows the eyeshadow and the mascara and then my dad with the lip liner the lipstick and the setting spray thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you want me to do more makeup videos every now and again give this video a thumbs up to let me know and i'll definitely do more of them i think that's me done thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon goodbye